A new star season alpha 3.24 patch just dropped this time around with cargo falling for the very first time. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. So this one is pretty cool. This one is pretty exciting. Um, unfortunately, it's still for Evo Cadi, but uh, once again, there's a few changes with this one. All right, testing focus remains at personal and instant hangers, freight elevators, cargo hauling, storage access, but they removed hover trolleys due to knock on issues. All right, and uh, hangar decoration still remains. Not being tested is cargo commodity rebalance and dynamic event blockade runner. All right, so, so for the new stuff, features and gameplay under the gameplay category, they've uh, added cargo hauling missions it says with the introduction of freight elevators we have created a suite of legal missions where players are tasked to move cargo containers between locations these new hauling missions will generate procedurally across the stanton system seeing the player transport goods back and forth to various jump points leos lagrange points landing zones and distribution centers and outposts these missions can be completed either through freight elevators in the player's personal persistent hangar or through the cargo loading area currently exclusive to the hall c pilots interesting hall c's are going to be busy <laughs> Very nice. All right. Um, and it says here, mission flow. It says the current suites include cargo hauling missions of three variants, A to B, multi to single, single to multi. And uh, each variant can come in three different quantity grade, small grade, supply grade, bulk grade. Higher tier hauling missions are reputation gated and will require doing intro and smaller grade missions to progress. Interesting. I like this already. Any players with the contract can view and request the associated mission cargo through any freight elevator, kiosk at a pickup location, even a party member's personal hangar. So this means you can do hauling missions as a party as a group of players and you guys will all have access to that hall right so that means in your personal hangar you can actually see the cargo and request it to be placed on your ship or brought into your hangar meaning so one person in your party can get the mission and another person in that same party can request for the hall to be placed in their hangar for them to put it on their ship so that's going to be pretty cool. I'm really excited about that. It continues to say based on the contract's volume token, the requested container are capped to different SU sizes, small grade for SU containers or smaller supply grade eight, supply grade eight SU container or smaller 16 SU containers or smaller depending on the mission bulk grade, no container size limit. All mission cargo containers request in small grade and supply grade contracts can be moved by using either one-handed or two-handed tractor beam tools. All mission cargo containers can snap onto a ship's cargo grid with the suitable dimensions. When all deliver objectives on the HUD and in the movie glass are finished, the contract completes. Interesting. One of the things that I've been excited about is cargo hauling. I cannot wait to actually see this in wave one. All right, you guys let me know your thoughts on this down below. Let's continue. So they made updates to the law system. It says here, it is no longer illegal to damage, destroy, tow, scrape, or structurally salvage an unknown vehicle. It is no longer illegal to tow ships outside of green zones. Interesting. Nice. Okay. Up next, it says ship vehicles, all right? So they made further atmospheric updates to enable ships to yaw more in atmosphere. They made further origin M50 and P100 series flight tuning changes as well. 
they made a few bug fixes with this one the very first one being an issue where interrupting the retrieval process blocks retrieval of all ships so that's a good fix they fixed another issue where personal hangar a stop toggle in and out of focus when being used i thought they fixed that already they fixed an issue when docking or retrieving a ship to a docking port at a station the docking arm will not extend this is a, a forever existing issue um, so hopefully it's permanently fixed this time they fix an issue where asap terminals only show four digits uh for displaying auto loading times causing minutes versus hour long load to look identical interesting along with this is two client crashes two server crashes a hybrid crash fix and also they fixed a server deadlock before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one